Oh boy. Warden Cranbrook. Looks like the snow decided to come back overnight. <sighs> Not that cold. Thank goodness. Snowy yet beautiful morning, and I'm on the highway. Next stop will be the town of Creston, and I'm fingers crossing they still have some of the uh, delicious new mango flavor that I found on the way through the last time. You should. It's the Esso and Creston. How many people are snapping up Revita tea at the Esso and Creston? And all in all, it's about a four, four and a half hour drive back to uh, New Denver from here. I need to, I double checked Drive BC this morning. I'm gonna need to check it again when I'm in Creston because if you're new around here, Creston is the decision time point. Whether I go straight to the ferry at, uh, I always wanna say Belfer, but it's something else on this side of the lake. Or turn right and risk the Kootenai Pass, which there's no boat, but it's a giant mountain and it's winter. Best way I came last time, and it was white knuckly to say the least. So when we get to Creston, we'll figure it out. I got burning feet from a hot ash fold. A voice within me tells me don't go home. So I run until my feet give out I jump a little higher to clear the ground Every shadow of every girl Every time I turn around I swear it's her I second guess my every move I hold my breath in case I run in you I can't look, I can't bear the thought of seeing you with someone new. Oh, I swear I'm almost over you. And sometimes I find I switch off and I start to drive streets that no longer are my own. I keep driving your way home. Live across the park from me in a place of steel. Is a tiptoe view of the sea. You 
My sister came back home to stay The day I packed my bags and went away So I found a room in a leafy street With a stranger and a traveler Who both welcomed me I try and remember my new way home But habit sometimes steers me down your road can't love, I can't bear the thought of seeing you with someone new, oh I swear I'm almost over you, sometimes I find I switch off and I start. Alright, fuel up one, and hopefully fuel up two. Well, they had them, but they don't anymore. <laughs> Revita! You need to start selling these on your website. Who knows, maybe by the time this video goes live, they will have, but I just placed an entire order at the gas station in Preston. Put them uh, in the new uh, litter box. Uh, but keep one. Yes, this flavor, delicious. And it's probably, I think, I mean, mango is delicious to begin with, but this is green tea, whereas all of these ones are black tea. And uh, when I had this the other day, I was blown away. So I don't know if it's the mango or a green tea, but I would hazard a guess it's a combination out of two. This is the last time I was here. I had a very mediocre steak bowl from Tim Hortons in this. Uh, Ramada parking lot. I'm gonna pull in here again and check the, the Drive BC website. The sign over there says compact snow on Highway 3A, which is the way to the ferry. Then it says chain up. Hmm. That guy just came from there and he didn't have chains on. Neither does that guy. Maybe they're just talking about the truckers. Oh, I just don't know. Okay. The road towards the bloody Kootenai Pass doesn't look any clearer. It's just a wall of cloud off in the distance. Can't even see the mountain. Fun times. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Both ways look like compact snow no matter where I go. The bigger problem is, is that the ferry only leaves at really weird times. It's not every half an hour like the ferry that I take um, near Revelstoke. Uh, the next one is at 1040 and it's Technically 9.30 there right now. Wait, what? Oh, I'm so confused. Why does the Jeep say? Oh, I don't know. I don't know this route, so I don't know what the time is. Okay, I gotta figure this out. Oh my goodness. I do not want to drive all the way to the ferry and then have to wait. The next ferry, it, one's at 10.40 and the next one's not till 12.20. Let me just brave the mountain pass.
So yes, I opted for the ferry route, and I'm glad that I did. That sign was lying about the uh, snow and put your tire chains on. It probably wasn't lying, it probably just hadn't been updated in a while. That drive was gorgeous and there was barely, well, there's a little bit of snow at the beginning. I'm happy with my decision. And even though I arrived with about an hour wait, I was able to crawl in the back and just play some Nintendo and, and relax, which was good because my leg was starting to act up. Well, that reminds me, it's probably time to take my meds. My after, wait, no, it's not, it's still early. It's barely 11. I had to get myself a breakfast sandwich from the onboard store, which is pretty good. That's cool that they have that. That's quite an extensive menu as well. Next time I come here or this way, I'll have to plan it for lunch and give their burger a shot. But I also went back and got myself an Nanaimo bar because delicious. Once I saw those on the board, I was, couldn't say no. A little snowy and wet right now going across the Kootenai Lake. And uh, I should be about, I don't know, two hours to New Denver. Once we once we land, I gotta go. I think I'm gonna go the Caslow way. Uh, I am pretty familiar with that way. The Nelson way, I feel like, would be longer, so it'll be a good old right-hand turn. And sorry, I'm distracted. This uh, this Subaru from Ontario in front of me, I wholeheartedly approve. Here's why. There's a Subaru, and right on his gas tank, look at this guy. Yar, matey. That'll do. Um, I was going to <laughs> collapse the air mattress and fold the blankets up and get everything sort of squared away, but they really sort of cram you on this ferry, and there's a taco behind me that just would not allow me to open my tailgate up. So that's okay, plus it's, like I said, wet out. We will collapse all that stuff probably once we get back to the, back to the homestead. priorities. That's where I gotta go, to Front Street Market. Uh, I need to get some fruit, and New Market in New Denver hasn't had strawberries lately. So, we can stop in the grocery store here in Caslow. I just gotta find a place to do an about face. I guess I could've walked. Well, I wasn't thinking. This is no U-turn specifically. You, what the? Caslow, you are a small town in BC. You will allow U-turns. Two bastards. Hey, there's a nice van. Okay. Ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. And now, to the grocery store. Oh, look, there's a home hardware here. Just off to the right there. I wonder if they allow overnight parking in their parking lot, which is these spots out front. Probably not. This, I'm just gonna. All right, perfect. It's a cold and breezy day in Caslow. Let's get some produce and get the heck out of here. Thank you so much. Have a good one. <clears throat> this could be a raspberry sort of week. <sighs> Raspberries and eggs, of course. And all right, twist my rubber arm. One more stop before we get back on the road. Yar, matey. All right, 
final stretch, you know, on a twisty highway, back to New Denver. It's about bloody time. is why I got the Jeep. That road is so much fun and that snow was the perfect snow where you just, you know, there's no ice underneath, the snow is slushy, grippy, but just slippery enough to have some fun and get her a little squirrely. Oh, so much fun. And it's so much less stressful by yourself than when you have somebody in a passenger seat going Tell me I'm wrong. Back in New Denver, it's absolutely gorgeous here. The sun is shining. It clearly has passed through. I do have to go into New Market because I forgot mix. This is uh, it's crazy. That's all the snow that's left. When we took off here the other morning, the snow was about a foot off the ground. I'm not complaining at all. It's bright and sunny. Although it's, you can tell it only just sort of started today because of all of the water dripping off of the roof. You can't really see it on the camera, but he's there. Let's go say hi to a little fur ball. Well, two little fur balls in toto. But this little furball right now. Ah, uh, hello. 
Oh, I left Brooklyn's room open. I bet you you're in there. Oh, hello. You come right out. Hi. How are you? Sorry, I meant to be home yesterday, but I had a physical therapy appointment and I spent the night in Cranbrook. My apologies. Oh, you don't forgive me? Yeah? Come here, you. Come here. Hello, hello. All right, we'll hook you up with some treats and stuff later. I got to get stuff unloaded from Grace, okay? <laughs> yeah, good girl. Get it, get it. You showed it who's boss. Okay, well, the day is more than half gone. I'm gonna go say hi to Sheba, don't worry. I'll be back. And I don't wanna get nothing done today on Lucky, so after I get Grace unloaded, um, I'm gonna go poke into Lucky and we'll see what we can do. I can't obviously do what I wanted to do because I don't have those bloody drawer slides, which are in my mailbox now, by the way. Oh, also, just as I was getting back into Grace over at Newmarket there, um, Carly over at Revitalize wrote me back on Instagram. I reached out and just said, hey guys, I love the mango flavor that I found in Creston. When are you going to get it on the website? Turns out I'm the one that's late to the party. That was actually a summer exclusive flavor that they had last year. Um, so it was a limited run, but they did have such good feedback. So I'm clearly not the only one that likes the green tea, um, that they are bringing it back. So it should be on the website later this month. Sheba! Yeah, are you excited? For the mango revitalize? Revita tea? No? <laughs> Not as welcoming, but that's to be expected. All right. Anyways, all good things. Um, yeah, let's get some stuff unloaded. Yeah. We'll get Grace unloaded and get back into our little routine here. Okay, sounds good. Oh, and actually, it's been a couple days, so before I start unloading Grace, let's fire the old girl up and let her run for a bit, just so she doesn't uh, get too stale. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's just so pretty out. All right, Lucky, how are you? Fire her up, let her run. Prime that fuel pump. Boom. No problem. All right. Don't spill. You're coming for a ride. Oh. oh, dang, the wind shut the door. That is unfortunate. Oh, careful. No alcohol abuse here, please. There we go. All right, let's set this down here for so before something horrible happens. Oh, it feels like it's been forever, Lucky. Hello, hello. Ah, all right, first things first, let's see just how much smaller maybe these new litter boxes, because if it's not drastically smaller than that, I'd take it back. Our Cranbrook screws, oh yeah, this is way smaller, you can tell just from, uh, well, maybe not way smaller, <laughs> this might be a bit of an exaggeration. Nice. All right. Well, I guess we're ripping out a water station. <laughs> That'll be a job well done for today. All right. Let's get the majority of this cleaned off, which is mostly my tools. We're going to have to detach the diesel tank. Before that, I'm going to have to try to save this domestic magnetic pad for the, for the water tank. Oh, she's on there. Good. What the hell did I... Don't. That'd be a tragedy. Ugh, there we go. What the? Oh, it's just a little 3M circle. <laughs> Come here. 
You will not be reusable. You will be. All right. Okay, on the back side here, I got this little two by two that I attached for the door of the diesel heater. I'm hoping it's just those two Robertsons that I can see that are holding it on there. Well, those, let's get serious. It's probably construction adhesive. Well, let's find out. Oh, and. Oh, but there's no construction adhesive, so that's nice. Oh, perfect. It's barely holding on. Excellent. Well, yeah, maybe it's because I used like less than two inch. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, now this is all the freaking wiring for the diesel cheater. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to cut that out. But let's get these brackets off first. Maybe the brackets can stay and we just do this. Not quite. And as big of a believer as I have been in this, uh, whether we have a sink or not in the next version of Lucky, I don't think it's going to be this one because, I mean, it's, it's kind of rusty. You can't tell because the very cheap Yeti mugs are covering it up along with a, a diesel air intake. But, yeah, never mind. Just take my word for it. It's rusty in there. Sit there for a minute, would you? All right. Let's get that done. Uh, diesel heater fuel pump out of there. It should be simple enough. Excellent. Good to job, fuel pump. Now, undo our little fuel line brace we made. Pull the fuel lines through, out of the way. And we got our electrical connection, which I just cut. Oh, that's stuck on my A lot of things stuck on. All those wires coming through. Talking to the party, pal. Come on. Very good. All right, and this has just been in this. <laughs> uh, what do you call this crap again? Loom. <laughs> it's been a hot minute. And it's just kind of tucked itself under the door there. We pull this here, close the door. Ooh, oh, you're in the way of closing the door. There we go. And there you have it. Now, to dismount the fuel tank. Had this on here probably doing nothing ever since I installed this. I'm not even, oh, it's literally just twisted on, nothing major. So that should come off no problem. There we go, wait, wait, the ball's in the way. Man, I hate when you get balls in the way. All right, so that's off. That bungee cord that was doing nothing and this is self tappers, right? Oh, you betcha. I remember when I installed this, I was so nervous that these weren't gonna hold the tank on. It was gonna be too heavy for these self tappers that were tapped into this MDF board, but almost three years, baby. Not a problem. And there was only two in. <laughs> that one, there isn't even one in there. All right then, you're free. Ooh, look how yuck that got. Just a whole bunch of nasty got trapped down there between the wall and the bottle. Yuck. Some people's kids. Now, where the hell am I going to put this? As long as the fuel pump stays up like this, shouldn't be a problem. Actually, I can probably tip this in a way where, yeah, let's tip. Let's tip it right into this box. Tip it the other way a bit more. Perfect. Perfectly situated. No diesel coming to the spout. No diesel reaching the pickup line. Stay. That's disgusting. That's what was underneath the bottle, the diesel bottle. Oh, where I just couldn't get a brush or anything. Yuck! Look at that. Cat hair and sawdust and probably bits of candy. Ugh. Lovely, just lovely. Yes, why we're doing this. That's not really why we're doing this, but now it's one of the reasons. I guess this is 
is uh, it. Florida Water Station. Huh. Oh, wait, does it attach the things? You never know. Wow, there's a. Who put a litter box in there? Unbelievable. Some people's kids. Gently. Oh, there you go. Two two drawer Malm IKEA dressers put together to make a fairly heavy water station. Ah. Ah. She's out. Holy shit! <sighs> Come here, you. Wow. There's so much more room for activities. <laughs> oh, oh. oh boy. Hey, there was a leaf stowing away in here. My goodness. Well, there we go. That is out. I guess I can start getting some measurements. I'm gonna take this little stubby guy off. Obviously this was one of those things that I had to add in order to fit that in here. But with that off, I'll actually be able to put the new box right up against this new box and we'll gain, well, you know, that much space. But when you're living in a van, every inch matters. I know this now. <sighs> and then there was one thing left. <laughs> you are definitely a future Matthew problem. Not right now. I should have eaten better on the road, but I did not. Well, that sandwich got me through this far, but I haven't had anything else to eat yet today. So I'm going to keep it a little more simple to finish this up for now. Um, I, want to, I, want get, I want to get some measurements for this, but first, this is just atrocious. So jarring. Eh, not so bad. Better looking and easier to work with now. I'll have to give this floor a bit of an actual proper clean. This is the first time this section of the floor has seen the light of day since I put that box in. So, ah. Uh, what I'm actually thinking, and this is what's been in my head the last couple days, is when I rebuild this structure here, and I might actually end up using the bed platform, uh, my old bed platform, because I'm thinking, I don't, it's all conjecture at this point, but um, whatever wood I use, I'm gonna build the box for Penny so she can get in from that side, and it's super easy for me to get her litter box out this side, but still have it be a nice structure. Then on the top, I might actually end up having to make it a little bit taller than, this was and then on top i'm gonna have another cupboard space right spot for her food and then another spot skinnier and section those two off so like essentially there'll be two lids one will be like a square one will be a skinny rectangle they'll both be hinged this one will open up like this the skinny well they'll both open up like this but the skinny one can open up without interfering with her food dish and in there i'll build like just a lowered platform that will essentially be the roof when she's in taking a dump as she do. And then in that skinny one, I can keep like her canned food and stuff. And then in the big section where I would have to move her food dish during the winter, uh, put other stuff that I don't need on the daily. And then maybe gas struts to hold them open. We'll see. Those gas struts also help at keeping stuff closed as well as I've learned with my hanging cupboards here. So that's the plan there. Where's that litter box now? Oh. All right, so this is gonna essentially be here. All right, but see, oh yeah, I should try to get this off before I call it quits for the day. And then that'll tuck in there. Well, actually it'll be about that because if it's like a half inch to a three quarter inch plywood box that I build, it's gonna go yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll have to have enough room where I can get this out. And just like this, like that, just a simple motion. That's how you do it, but that's still, yeah. I'm gonna have to go do some drawings <laughs> just to see how I want this box to function properly. But, and then I've got a lot of um, little L brackets that I can use to reinforce corners and stuff, so. Yay, huh. Well, can't tell me I was wrong about the construction adhesive. <laughs> I took the screws out, but as you can see, that little tan line of goop there is construction adhesive, and well, it did not want to come out. So now we have hole in framework. Ah, happens. Future Matthew problem.
Right, well, I've just been spending the last half hour, 45 minutes or so, just sort of sitting in here and just, just taking it all in, looking at stuff, looking at measurements, how to fix the wheel well box that I butchered in the, well, a couple of videos ago. I won't be fixing it. I'll be building a new one. So there's a lot of like micro measurement that you have to do for things. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of frustrations for sure. Uh, and just looking at the space in general and wondering how it's all going to come together. I think it's like my brain wants to keep going on it, but my body's like, nay, you're tired, man. You need to relax. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to listen to my body this time because my brain tends to get away with whatever it wants all the time. So we are going to say that was good for today. We got the box out. What I really need is just a good night's sleep recharge and then start at this again first thing tomorrow morning tomorrow is saturday so silver silverton building supplies should be open so that shouldn't be a problem if i need to go get some get some lumber we probably have enough screws um and start tearing some of this other stuff apart for uh repurposing it <sighs> but that's all a, that's all a tomorrow issue hello old bed platform you definitely getting turned into something else. Yeah, all right. I'm calling it. My lucky. <sighs> so I had a shower. I'm about to make myself some egg salad minus the bread. Instead of resting, this is happening. So yeah. I'm now all set up for a live stream. She would just, oh, there she goes. <sighs> it's quite the, uh, quite the studio, eh? What the heck have you done to my house? Hey. <laughs> <sighs> it is what it is. <laughs> what? You want to try these? They're for Penny, but I'm sure she... Apparently not. Hey, you want to try this? What this? I'll put it there. You eat it? Hmm. I say nay to your treats, human. But I am curious. Come here. Hi. Mm -hmm. Very dark in here. Hang on. That's a little bit better. It's a little bit better, eh? Okay, Penny. Probably time for us to go to sleep, huh? You just want to say the outro? You want to do it? Until the next one, just go out there, be happy, be creative, be yourselves. Most importantly, be positive. And remember, only dead fish go with the flow.